What's up everybody, Tim here at Timmer's EM1 and tonight Samsung has officially released the reason why the Note 7 batteries were exploding and that was because the electrodes in the batteries were touching. Now if you recall correctly, obviously there were two versions of that phone, the original Note 7 and the replacement Note 7s. In the original Note 7, they were calling it battery A in this article, if I can find, find it right here, battery A, and then the replacement version they were calling it battery B. Basically what was happening in both batteries, as you can see here, battery A and battery B, uh, the electrodes were touching. And as you know, when electrode, when the positive and negative electrodes touch in a battery, you, you have an explosion. So basically that is what was happening in battery here on both versions. On battery A, it was happening on the corner of the battery and then battery B was towards the middle. But nevertheless, it was causing the battery to explode and that is why your no sevens were exploding so now this article also says actually wait a second i don't know if it says it here i read it somewhere that the design of the phone was not did not play a role uh in the explosions of the battery but it also makes me wonder you know i'm gonna turn this turn the screen off this is my s7 edge you know us consumers we want thin devices right we want thin devices, but at the same time, we want great battery life. We want hours and hours and hours of screen on time for our phones. But it kind of makes me wonder, you know, where do we find that balance? Because in order to have good battery life, yeah, some of it is, uh, or a lot of it is optimization, right? But another part of it is also the size of the battery. If we want our phones to have bigger and bigger and bigger batteries, that, you know, may require a thicker or bigger device but at the same time we want thin phones so it's kind of like you know you have you know we're trying to find that and samsung's going through this right now i suppose you know that balancing act of making a thin phone like look at this s7 edge is you know fairly a thin device and also having a fairly sized battery or a reasonable sized battery so you can have and with optimization so you can have good battery life so i don't know it's just one of those Things I'm just thinking about right now. So anyway, speaking of the Note 7, RIP Note 7, hit me up in the comments below, like this video, subscribe to my channel, it'll help me out a lot. But hit me up in the comments if you still have a Note 7. Let's talk about that. Why did you keep your Note 7? Are you scared that it's gonna blow up? And also, why did you keep your Note 7? And if you returned your Note 7, think back to when you had that phone, how did you like it? Did you have any problems with the battery? Did it overheat? I know when I had my Note 7, I had it for about three weeks. Uh, I have, I absolutely had no battery issues with that phone. As a matter of fact, it didn't even get warm, if I remember correctly. Um, I liked the performance of the device. Uh, the 5.7 inch display uh, was awesome. Uh, the phone felt smaller than what it really was due to the symmetrical curved design on both sides of the device. And overall, I just really liked that device. So I definitely miss it. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let's talk Note 7, let's talk S8, and let's talk Note 8 also. All right, this is Tim Amount. Peace.